All right, we're here today at Historic League Park, and it looks like we're going back in time because we see some, well, it's obviously baseball, but it's a lot different than what we're used to at Progressive Field. Can you tell us what's going on today, who you are, and what's going on? Well, we are the Cleveland Blues. We are the reincarnation of one of the earliest teams in Cleveland baseball history, and we're playing here at Le Historic League Park where Babe Ruth hit his 500th home run. Uh, Joe DiMaggio, Joe DiMaggio, yes, he lost his uh, 56 game hitting streak in his park. And Ty Cobb, Tris Speaker, all of the famous old timers you've heard of, Hall of Famers, they've all played here. Uh, the differences in our game today that we are playing is that unlike in modern baseball, you can catch a ball on one bounce and it's considered an out. Uh, some of the batting order is changed. Uh, there are no called balls or strikes unless a player literally swings and misses, then it's a strike. Foul balls are not considered strikes. Uh, nobody walks. Uh, in 1865 and later, they changed some of the rules, but the traditionalists here in northern Ohio seem to like to play with the one bounce rule and nobody walks, and I think we've had one strikeout in 30 games this year that we've played so far. So strikeouts are a rarity. And it looks a little bit like softball, but the bases are 90 feet like they are in modern day baseball. Uh, we, you can steal bases, but it's kind of a gentlemanly thing where you only, it's agreed on about both clubs that both teams, if, if the catcher muffs the ball, then the guy will try and steal. But we don't try to take advantage of the slow pitching and things of that nature. But uh, other than that, it's something that everybody needs to watch. Uh, no runner is allowed to overrun the bases, even first base, or they can be called tagged out. Well, I think it's amazing that no one's wearing gloves or mitts. There's they're some pretty well-hit balls, and they're just using their hands. Yeah, they're uh, kind of daredevils, if you want to commit suicide, if you will. There were a couple of plays in today's games where... Uh, Players took line drives on the chest and actually hung onto the ball. Uh, the ball is a little bit smaller than the, the modern day baseball, and it's a little bit softer. The stitching is completely different. Uh, it's very rare where you can find a pitcher that can uh, put a curve on the ball in that. And the gentlemanly agreement was that the pitcher is to pitch the ball where the batter can hit it. If he's not consistently doing that, the batter can request where he would like to put his bat out and say, I would like the ball pitch in this area. And the, the hurler, as he's called, is obligated to do that. And if he's not, then the umpire can call balls. Now, I've noticed that you're so much more, seems polite and civilized. I hear people complimenting the other team and calling each other sir and, and just how you're dressed. Tell us a little about that. Well, traditionally, the arbiter, is what my official name is, was... The only person on the field that usually wore a tie and a hat, he, he was to be respected and he wore the dress that would command that respect. Uh, the players, we have played in New York and Michigan, Indiana this year, and everybody throughout the area are true gentlemen. There is no, as close as this game was, there's no hard feelings on misplays. Uh, I went out and consulted with one, the pitcher on a play here, which the arbiter is obligated to do if he's not sure of the call, and ask for an opinion. And then by that, he can make a consensus opinion or revert to his own first call. Now, if someone wants to learn more about the Cleveland Blues and this kind of baseball, where would they go? Uh, there is uh, The Cleveland Blues does have a web website. It's uh, clevelandbluesbaseballclub.com, and that will get you to our website. And Vintage Baseball uh, also has a website. It's vbba.com and there are, I, I don't know, there are a couple of hundred teams throughout the United States that play vintage baseball. Terrific. Well, it's time for the next game. Yes, it is. All right. Thank thanks. you.